Hey guys, it's Josh Rossi. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create freakishly huge heads in Photoshop. So, what tool do you use? Do you use the Liquify tool? Do you use the Warp tool, Pen tool, Lasso tool, whatever else tool? We are going to use the Pen tool, and this is super simple. It'll literally take just a minute to do this. So, here are our dudes, the normal looking guys that we have. So, what I'm going to do here is I just copied the models you can see over here. Um, I've already cut them out and everything. The main thing to this is that you need to cut out the heads um, down to the neck, not just the chin here, but you need to cut all the way down to around the neck. So what I'm going to do is with the pen tool, I'm just going to follow this around just like that and I'm holding down Option or Alt and clicking and dragging. So right here I'm going to click and drag just to make a nice curve around there and hold the option or all bring that little handle in. If you guys don't know how to use the pen tool I have another tutorial on that free tutorial. And so I'm just selecting his face, neck and chin. So just like that. Then what I'm going to do is just select around there, right click, go make selection, feather at one, hit OK. Then what I'm going to do is shift command I to invert the selection and delete. So now all I have is a big head that I've cut out just like that. Super simple. All you do hold command T and that's going to bring up your free transform tool and just make the head a little bit bigger. You don't want to make it extremely huge because then when you make it really huge then there's going to be a big difference in clarity. The face is going to be really blurry. In this case it's not too blurry because um, it was shot really well but normally the face would be blurry and the body would be really sharp so that's why you don't want to enlarge it too much but I'm not using you know any of those other tools I'm not warping I'm not um, using the liquify tool I'm just using the pen tool to cut them out and then what you want to do is look at how the head is placed on the normal image you can see there's a shadow here and there's a little bit of the um, the collar that's coming around so you want to sort of match that up and that looks pretty good just like that next thing we're gonna do is bring this in a little bit because we have this his neck here is hanging over a little bit what you could do is use the pen tool to cut this off or what I'm gonna do right now is go to liquify and just use the liquify tool so zoom up here and you sort of have to guess but it's not that hard just go to your push tool over here and just bring in his neck just a tiny bit something like that okay so that's already looking a lot better now I've actually left some of this stuff here so I'm just gonna cut this off really quick okay alright so that's cut off and now you need to adjust the head just a tiny bit what I'm gonna do is bring this a little bit over this way so it looks more realistic looks like you know this collar is coming right around his neck so that looks pretty good right like that now that is how you create a huge head and I've already done that with our guy over here let's see there same exact thing cut out his head and just matched it up really well with the neckline and the collar right there thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this tutorial and check out more tutorials on compositeplanet.com and I will see you again soon